Hello YouTube, how's it going? I uh, wanted to have a play with uh, René's gate sequencing today. So I've made uh, a mainly percussive patch. And uh, what I've done is on the Y page of René, I've enabled gate or mod. And uh, I've muted the clock to the Y mod input. So René's in snake mode and in this, using this logic uh, function, I've made um, the Y output to read every clock as a potential trigger instead of having to go on the vertical movement to uh, fire a trigger enabling uh, gate or mod it will fire trigger as long as that address is uh, lit up um, so basically I've made a kick pattern on the X page the kick is from the radical frequencies dual precision VCO and it sounds like this there's this, I've made a snare, I'm just using the snare waveform on micro braids, which is triggered by variegate. There's a hat pattern, which is uh, the radical frequencies, lucky voltages, and it's output 4 going through the stereo cascaded OTA VCF from radical frequencies. Again, the high pass filter. The good thing is that the, the noise is a glitch noise, it just sounds like this, there's no need to use a VCA to make a pattern, it just reads the clock. And this is the mister on going through the wired Borg filter in high pass mode. And is uh, the cattle frequency is controlled by TRNS Wobbler in sample and hold mode, just for some extra percussive stuff. It's going through the reflector from Dreadbox, um, just using the wet output and uh, feeding that into the um, radical frequencies multi vcf the band pass which is controlled by some of the hold from lucky voltages and uh, it's also panned from trns wobbler the last voice the well, basically the last two voices are uh, the drips doing this 5-8 uh, pattern and that's mixed into the mod demix with the white noise from Maleka noise uh, that's going into the surge variable, variable slope uh, VCF uh, mixed together into the mod demix the sum output of mod demix is going into the top of the multi-filter the high pass output is controlled by stages just an offset and the high pass output is going into clouds and from clouds it's going into the zdsp which is running a valhalla reverb and using stages i can control the dry wet mix on valhalla and the cutter frequency of the top of the multi-filter um, and there's also a percussive pattern from Future Retro Transient Plus. Uh, Rene Ygate is triggering the Transient Plus, and I'm also sending some CV from Rene to select uh, different samples. I'm using the high pass filter on the Transient Plus, and uh, this is the pattern that I've got going. And that's mixed in with the kick on the stereo cascaded OTA VCF by radical frequencies. So I've got some control over the um, frequency content. And this is the patch. Let's hear it. I also forgot to mention, I've got the kick and the pattern from Transient Plus into the Optimix and Transient Plus is being sidechained by the kick from the Radical Frequencies DP VCO. The sum out of the Optimix is going into the Optidist just for some uh, glue. So I'm just using uh, Optimix version 2 to do the sidechain.
using the high pass filter on the transient plus and I'm also using an offset from stages to control the CV of the channel one up to mix that the kick is going in and take it in and out and back in So good fun using Rene as a gate sequencer and using the logic functions. If you like the patch, let me know. If you didn't like the patch, let me know in the comments what you like or didn't like about it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, there's more content coming. And that's it for me for today. Cheers. <laughs>